So where I am today is an abandoned wonderland. It is a mecca of abandonment. It is an urban explorer's gold mine. It has an abandoned naval base, two abandoned radio towers, a bunch of abandoned buildings, and two abandoned movie sets. I've wanted to come here for the longest time now, and I am finally here, and there is so much to see. Doesn't look like it from this view, but beyond all that, there is so much to see that I'm going to shut up, and we're gonna go that way, and we're gonna see everything that there is to see around here. So come on. Looks like a regular old neighborhood, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's all fake. This is the abandoned movie set to the movie Patriot's Day. The movie about the Boston Marathon bombing. This is the neighborhood that the SWAT team came down when they were looking for the the bombers when they were hiding. So they came down the street and they raided all these houses, all these fake houses, looking for the marathon bombers. This was the, the set for that scene. How cool is that? And it's still here. That movie was filmed three years ago. And the set is still here. To give you an example of where this place is, it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> See, you got nothing. This was an old naval base. It's an abandoned naval base, and now it has an abandoned movie set on it. Even the power lines are all fake. They lead to nowhere. They supply no power to these buildings but that is an amazing attention to detail. So let's stop staring at it from back here and let's go on the other side of that fence and check this shit out. So cool. Look at that. This is what the inside of a fake building on a movie set looks like. That is so cool. I've never seen anything like this. Oh look, how convenient. They left the door open just for me. Now I can go run around the fake neighborhood without having to jump this fence. Awesome, let's go check it out. Oh my God, I'm running down the street. I'm the SWAT team. I'm looking for the marathon bombers. Where are they? So creepy. This is pretty creepy actually. Look, there's even like this fake little garage. This is cool. Look at that. There's actual stage directions, filming directions still there. 75 millimeter, 37 feet off ground, shoot through open rear door. Three years later, there's still filming instructions taped to the sidewalk. This is probably the coolest abandoned thing I've ever seen in my life. Look at me, I'm on a movie set. This is so awesome. I'm in the movie Patriot's Day. This is the closest I'll ever get to being on a real movie set. <laughs> Look, there's even a satellite dish for their non-existent satellite TV.
Why do they need insulation for a fake house? These people were obviously cat owners. Only cat owners have blinds that look like that. Real live actual movie lights. Go up the ladder to the roof where we can be closer to heaven. Okay, I really have to stop singing. This is so cool. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say the word cool like 97 billion jillion times because that's exactly what this is. Oh my God, you guys, I'm in a movie set. A Mark Wahlberg movie set. Fake garage, fake next door neighbors, fake driveway, fake everything. Oh my God, you're not even gonna believe this. Check it out. Look at this. Bullet holes. Patriot's Day bullet holes. This had, to, this must have been the house. Oh no, there's bullet holes on that house too. There's, there's so many fake movie set bullet holes. So cool. This must have been either the house that the bombers were hiding in or near it because there's also bullet holes over there but how cool is that patriots day bullet holes i'm not going to make the goonies joke again because i've already made it two times on two other videos but yeah bullet holes the size of matzo balls there there i did it i lied they're not really the size of matzo balls they're more like cheese balls but they're bullet holes nonetheless awesome like pretty much all the same inside it's still cool Big old pigeon, right there. You freaked me out, pigeon. Go back under there. I thought you were the bombers. I thought you were the Sanaya brothers, but you were just a pigeon. Open up, we know you're in there. hanging out on an abandoned movie set. Oh, there's like a father and son riding their bike past the abandoned movie set. They're over there. Oh, good. I needed a new set of blinds. I feel like Mrs. Kravitz spying on the bewitched family. Abner, she just turned her husband into a frog. 
What if this Pepsi can once belonged to Mark Wahlberg? What if Mark Wahlberg drank out of this Pepsi can? What if this is a Mark Wahlberg Pepsi? And his DNA is all over that opening. Probably not. Power bank, you ain't fooling no one. There ain't no power going to these buildings. Shit. Here's more filming instructions. It says something shot bag. Tape to the sidewalk again. Okay, I've been running around this movie set for like an hour. It is so awesome and so fun. I've just been running around it, taking all these ridiculous selfies and marveling at the fact that this is an abandoned movie set. So I gotta get out of here because there's so much more to see around here besides this movie set. There's a whole other movie set over there. So we gotta check that out. All these buildings look exactly the same inside, so you're not missing anything if I don't film every single one. They all look the same. So let's go on to um, movie set number two. One last look. So behind the movie set are these abandoned buildings. That one has a number on it. It says 74. I'm wondering if these have anything to do with the filming of the movie. Like were these trailers or buildings that the cast and crew hung out in, in between takes? Because I mean, they're right there, and the set is right there. So, we gotta check these out and see what's inside. But they look like they've been here forever. Like, yeah, okay. These were part of the, um, the naval base, not the movie. They just happen to be very close to it. Can you even get in or, yeah, not happening. Let's see if we can get in this one. No. Ooh, that's not that scary because it's not that deep. But I wouldn't want to accidentally fall in that and have that go up my ass that would be very unpleasant so i'm glad i saw that you can tell other people have been here because there's a nice little path but there's no way inside oh my god oh my god look at my foot and look at that. Yeah. So it happens. It has potential. I gotta watch out for fucking abandoned wells all over this shit. Okay. What is this? Like, what is it? It looks like coral. And there's another one over there. I don't wanna touch it. It looks like a pod. Oh, it's like packaging packaging foam type stuff oh the door's open going in through the back door Ooh. okay a lot of shell casings uh, whatever this is the tool shed we foraged through the the weeds for a tool shed. Anything interesting? What is this? 
It's like, I have no idea. Absolutely nothing of interest. Light bulbs and lighting fixtures and beer. If anyone wants some beer, it's right there. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing in here. See, this is the runway to the old naval base. And that's where the movie set is. Here's the runway. Nothing exciting to see there. What we want is over there. X marks the spot. That's pretty cool. That's obviously where probably helicopters landed. Because again, this is the runway. X. Pretty cool. Here's the Top Gun camera angle. So, quick fun fact. They filmed a scene from Ghostbusters 3, right here. Those crosswalks are from Ghostbusters 3. This is where they filmed the Times Square scene. So this was Times Square <laughs> in the movie Ghostbusters 3, which would be way cooler if it were Ghostbusters 1 or 2. Sorry, not sorry. So this fake street right here, this is where they filmed the Boston Marathon in the movie, Patriot's Day. I'm running the Boston Marathon. This is as close as I'm ever gonna get to running the Boston Marathon. I'm running the fake Boston Marathon. I'm running the several miles out of Boston Marathon. Okay, so yeah, here's fake Boston. Fake Boston, that's about 20 minutes away from real Boston. Look at that, they even got the, they even have the, we accept these uh, MasterCard, but it says this stuff, ha, they probably couldn't even get any funding from Visa to use the real name. But yeah, it's green up there because they had to green screen in stuff for the movie. So yeah, fake Boston. Fake Boston storefront. What store is that? It says, I have no idea. F U R. I have no idea what that says. Can you figure it out? Tell me, because I cannot. Whatever's at 755, whatever street was in front of where the Boston Marathon was. Okay, whatever. But yeah, pretty cool. Still here after three years from the movie, Patriot's Day. Take one last look by Big Boston. Marathon Street. Here's what the back of fake Boston looks like. It was all a facade, literally. It was literally a facade. I actually think all those motorcycles back there are police training, which is actually cool because I'm about to go to the creepy part of this place. So it's good to know that there's some police over there in case I run into any undesirables.